Hey, ever wonder what a game with no more than 100 lines of code could look like? We threw down that exact challenge in the skill up game jam, and the results were mind blowing. I played through every single entry to pick out my top 10 favorite games, each one a true statement to creativity and skill. Let's dive in and see what's possible when you push the boundaries of game development. All these submissions were unique in their own way. However, there's some that really stood out to me, so let's get to picking. Reminder, these are all of my opinions, so if you guys have any other certain opinion on which one should be top 10 to top 1, leave it down in the comments. PH. PH is a horror game where you have to reach a certain point while managing your rapidly diminishing sanity. So this game was a bit hard for me to understand at first, especially the goal and premise, but when it came to scary, eerie, and disturbing, it completely nailed it. Right, okay, so I'm just walking around like a motherfucking maniac. <laughs> I'm already scared and I don't even know what the fuck is doing. Oh you have a controller? I am doing pretty good, no? I love the graphics, the atmosphere, the feeling and vibe that it brought to you with that scary, scary surroundings that it had. Like a bunch of those. Just chilling on the floor. What the f stop screaming! But it was missing the terms of gameplay, story, and a few more interactions with the surrounding. Great job with the spooky elements. Top 9. <laughs> one Hit Hero. So One Hit Hero is a Gladiator style game where you fight in an arena and a single hit is fatal. You have to time your attacks and blocks carefully, either strike before your opponent can block or defend right before you get hit. As you progress, the game gets harder with your opponent changing their patterns and attacking faster and you get far with this game because I can. I am terrible at timing. I really have a terrible timing <laughs> so this game was pretty straightforward and could go on forever it gave me rock paper scissor vibes ah sh it was pretty fun i like the the simplicity and straightforwardness with this one top eight endless clicker defense so in this game you have to defend a statue from a swarm of monsters and you must upgrade to upkeep with these increasingly number of mobs i was going crazy trying to keep up with this swarm of mobs they they wouldn't just stop coming as i tried to upgrade my sword um se second off i really enjoy the pixelated art style only only issue was some imbalance with the game you you could try to keep up with it and killing monsters and upgrading your sword as it goes on but there was a certain point where the sword wouldn't either attack as fast or be as strong enough. Other than that, it was really cool. That's it from me for this game. Top seven, <laughs> Little Timmy Zombie Boomerang Game. Little Timmy Zombie, okay. Little Timmy, little, I'm not gonna say that name again. Involves destroying four zombie spawners around the map in order to find a cure. Why? Because you are constantly dying. You are about to be infected within a five minute time period. You have to search for all these spawners and destroy them in order to find that cure or else you die. The timer is your health. This game jam reminded me a lot of Vampire Survivors, a game that I used to play and just chill with. I, I really enjoy that vibe that it gave me. I really like the pixelated and simple art style that this game had and the mechanics were pretty good. Only issue that I was seeing though is when you drop the, the boomerang because once it comes back, it goes back to your past position and it would just stay there on the ground with swarms of, of zombies just trying to get you and you're trying to get your boomerang back but it's you just can't because it's on the floor and, it, and it's on the floor great job great job top six switchboard operator this one although very complex was really enjoyable it was connecting one caller to another and figuring out which numbers goes to whom based on their location that they're calling from their city their uh career what they're doing etc etc are they married single etc etc to essentially find that phone Your phone link. connect one to the other which was really smart idea for the game it was very very unique i really enjoyed the thought for that however only recommendation i would give to this game was give it a certain tutorial to start with at least like the first call being uh like a an example to get hands-on with the game i do know that it has potential and i know that it's fun i love challenging games like these but thank you so much amazing work with the creativity great game top five click burst so this clicker had many challenges unlike any other you had to keep the balloon filled but don't overfill it because it might blow up and you had to for watch out for any incoming like obstacles you could also upgrade the balloon but you also had to beware with it yeah every single upgrade is a double-edged sword essentially so i understood this pretty quickly after multiple explosions um i thought it was broken at first but then i realized i had to multitask 
it was challenging it allowed me to learn a lot from it i really wanted to continue playing it but i wasn't the greatest at that i feel like the game was very well balanced it was fun and creative it had a lot of upgrades to go with which i wasn't able to achieve and get there but i want to i really would get back to this game only thing that could improve this game i'd say is the visual representation for the balloon deflating i'm not gonna blame you you only had 100 lines of code totally fine and you did an incredible you killed it so great job top four tilt labyrinth as the name suggests and quite simply frankly you control the labyrinth or the map in essence you tilt it to guide the ball to the finish line where it's a certain circle with a party going on it had like multiple tricky platforms and challenges to push you away from getting to that certain goal which will prompt you to think and also be aware with the balance of the ball so this game i enjoyed very much it was challenging fun and well thought out i like the concept of progressively add more difficult and different dimensions to the game which was quite unique i'd say little pause here part of me guys it's a important little announcement <clears throat> for my 3D artists, if you're into challenging yourself or into competing and wish to get some sweet prizes while you're at it, <laughs> and save me some. CG and Wii is celebrating their two year anniversary with a 3D challenge this September 2024. Check out their Discord and their Instagram down below. Okay, now we can proceed with the video. The style itself was also really, really good. Although simple, I feel like that simplicity was the main goal for that game, the best fit to it. <laughs> great job with it thank you so much for this game for participating it was really good top three 100 line platformer so this game consists of navigating over 50 challenging obstacles using a set of ephemeral abilities like dashes and double jumps and what do i mean by ephemeral you can only use them once yes you, you heard me only once these abilities can be regenerated with these certain red gems or other colored gems as well. I love the complexity of the levels. It would just get harder and harder implementing like new, new things to do. And I would just go crazy. I what the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. And no, I see, I, I see what you mean by it. Oh yeah. It, it does. Oh yeah. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh yeah. It very much does. It does. It does. I really enjoy in platformers and certain games like such that kind of like challenge your skill sets and mind and and just mechanics with the game. So it was it was really fun. I really enjoyed. Very well thought out. Very straightforward. Incredible that they made it in 100 lines. It frustrated the crap out of me when I played it, but man, did I like it. I'd definitely consider playing it again. It was it was, it was really fun. Top two, zero lines. So uh, this game, uh, although kind of scratched my head, it was kind of crazy when I read the lines. Uh, I mean, because there wasn't lines, there was no code. Yeah, there, there was there was no code. This game, you play as a small little slime blob thing navigating through a platform where you have to collect certain coins before reaching to this finish line although i said all of that and the aesthetics is incredible everything the mechanics are great and the mechanics were challenging as well the aspect that really impresses me is the code because they had no code so this one did incredible this man said Fuck the hundred lines fuck the challenge i'll do what i want and make my game with no code truly impressive they they really went up for a challenge and they went above and beyond top one this game blew my mind completely so this game is a platform that takes place within the console and the code itself yeah you heard me yeah yeah the code itself is what makes the game function and it's the map where the game is played on it's the platforms and the the the, the things that you climb on within the map the map the map and the code and the code and the map is the game and the game is the map which blows my mind you would go all the way through the top by jumping around through platforms and climbing up to that certain goal well you also try to avoid these floods of waves and dashes aka water this one this game was just out of the ordinary it was very very creative the game was extremely straightforward simple and very entertaining challenging and very fun embrace the journey back to this game and analyze the code later on for on an upcoming video stay tuned okay so those were my top 10 picks however the developers themselves and the community participated in their own voting process. So let's see what their top three were. Top three, Endless Clicker Defense. Top two, Boom Ball. Top one, Tilt Labyrinth. If you wish to play these games or check out their code, go to our itch.io down in the description. Go check for yourself, man. Congratulations to all the participants. I had so much fun playing all of you games. Whether you made it to my top 10 or not, you did something incredible by challenging yourself 
creating something amazing. If you liked how this game jam turned out and you want to participate in one of them, you're welcome to join our Discord server to be notified of any upcoming game jams. Tell the link down below in the description. Thank you so much, guys. Embrace the journey. Bye-bye.